Hello friends, this video on understanding numbers part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us solve some questions in order to understand this unit's conversion better. Let's take a real life example. The distance between the school and the house of a student's student is 1 km 875 meters. Every day she walks both ways. Find the total distance covered by her in 6 days. Okay, so let us first talk about the distance. What is the distance between the school and the house? The distance is equal to 1 kilometer 875 meters. Now, since we have, I mean, the distance is being given in two different units, kilometer, meter. So it will be convenient if we convert this into one unit, right? So let us try to convert this entire thing into one unit. Let's say we convert it into meters. So that means I want to convert this part into meters. So what I am trying to do, I am trying to convert kilometers into meters. So let's quickly remember the um, list or the order of the units. And the order was milli, centi, deci, meter, deca, hecto, kilo. Now what am I trying to do? I am trying to convert from kilometer to meter. So basically I am moving up. So moving up means multiply. Multiply by what? Multiply by 1 followed by how many zeros? How many steps am I jumping? 1, 2, 3. So this needs to be multiplied by 1000. So basically 1 kilometer will be equal to 1 into 1000 meters. So that is the conversion of 1 kilometer. Plus you also have this 875 meters. So this 875 meters will get added to this. So 1000 meters plus, one, plus 875 meters would be 1875 meters. So this would be the distance between the house and the school in meters. So now we have the entire distance in meters. Now every day the girl walks both ways. That means while going she walks 1875 meters. While coming back also she walks 1875 meters. So that means both ways would mean how much distance is she covering in one day? 2 into 1875 meters. That is basically 3750 meter. So this is the distance that she is covering in one day. One day while going and coming back. Now we have to find out how much distance she covers in 6 days. So therefore in 6 days this would be 6 times that means 6 multiplied by 3750 meters which will basically be 0, 0, 5, 22. So this would be 22500 meters. Now if I ask you to convert this meter into kilometer again, what will you do? So now I am asking you to convert from meter to kilometer. So you are coming down. So you will divide. Divide by what? 1, 2, 3. 3 steps. So 3 zeros. So divide by 1000. So when you divide this by 1000, so what happens? You get 22.5 kilometers. So this is the total dis distance that she covers in 6 days. It is 22.5 kilometers or 22,500 meters. So this is an example where we made use of units. Now why did we use units like kilometers? Because you see when you write it in kilometer, the number becomes smaller. When you write it in meters, the number becomes bigger. And that is the use of having so many different units. So whenever we want to represent something which is very big, we make use of a bigger unit and smaller number because it is convenient to write smaller numbers. Now based on this, we will solve some more problems which involves bigger numbers and which also involves different units. So that we get to know that how exactly do we add, subtract, multiply larger numbers. So question number one. Kirti bookstore sold books worth rupees 
2,85,891 in the first week of June and the books worth rupees 4,768 in the second week of the month. How much was the sale for the two weeks together? So this is for first week. This is for second week. So for two weeks together, what would be the total sale? So of course, the total sale would be the sale in first week plus the sale in second week. That is going to be the total sale. So the first week sale is 2 lakh. 85,891 and the second week say this 4,768. So we will add up the sales for the first week and the second week. So this is how we will add up. Now it is very important that we place the two numbers correctly. Lakhs should be with lakhs, the thousand should be in the thousands place. Again the hundreds, tens and units should be in their places accordingly. So now when you find the sum, 8 plus 9 will be, 8 plus 1 would be 9, 9 plus 6 would be 15, you'd have a carry forward of 1, again this would be 6, this would be 8, 6, this would be 6. So rupees 6 lakhs 86,659 would be the sale for the two weeks together. Now the second part of the question says that in which week was the sale greater and by how much? Now looking at these two numbers, you have to decide which is a greater number. So this is 2 lakhs, this is 4 lakhs. So which one is greater? Of course 4 lakhs. So the sale in the second week was greater. And by how much? Now to find out how much was this sale greater than this one we will have to find the difference so basically we will have to subtract the first week sale from the second week sale so when you subtract this what you get is 1 lakh 14877 so the week so the second week sale was greater than the first week sale by rupees 1,14,877. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.